Hello and welcome to Mr. Alvarez's virtual chemistry classroom. Today we'll be talking about particle diagrams. Our aim for today is how can we differentiate between the different types of particle diagrams? Let's draw some particle diagrams together, but first we must establish a key. For our purposes, this darkened or shaded circle is going to represent element A, whereas this open or clear circle is going to represent element B. Let's start off by drawing one element. So we draw our box, and inside the box, we're going to pick one element. Let's start with element A. So I'm going to draw five shaded circles. So inside the box, the particle diagram shows five of the same element. To draw a compound, Remember, a compound is two or more different elements chemically combined in fixed proportion. So I need two different elements. So I need both element A and element B. And I'm going to draw them together. So one shaded, one open circle. I can flip that. One open, one shaded circle. One shaded, one open circle. And one open shaped circle. So I have four of the same compound. Two different elements, element A and element B, combined chemically, they're together in a fixed proportion. All four of these have a 1A to 1B ratio. 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 1. Now I can have a mixture of elements. So in my next particle diagram, I can draw one shaded, one open, one open, one shaded, and put a shaded and an open. So here I have both element A and element B in this particle diagram. So I have a mixture of elements. And I could do the same for compounds. I could have a mixture of compounds. I could take the compound we had before, one shaded and one open, but now I have to make a different compound. So maybe this time I have one shaded and two open, one shaded circle and two open circles, and finally one shaded and one open. So I have two sets of compounds. One element A, one element B. That's the same here. Element A, one element B. And I have a different compound. A with two Bs. A with two Bs. So I have compound A, B. And I have compound A, B, two. So here I have a mixture of compounds. And of course, I could put these two together. I could have a mixture of elements and compounds. So we'll draw that next. So I take an element, closed circle, closed circle, open circle, open circle, and I can put darkened circle and an open circle together dark and circle, open circle together. I can even put one dark, two open. So here I have a mixture of elements and compounds. I have element A, element A, element B, element B, compound AB, compound AB, and compound AB2. So here I have a mix of elements and And it can get a little bit trickier. In this next box, I have two open circles, two open circles, two open circles, two open circles. Some people might be inclined to say that this is a compound. But remember, a compound is two or more different elements chemically combined in fixed proportion. Here, 
I have all of the same element. I have B2. B, 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 B. So I have two of the same element chemically combined. Since I have two of the same element chemically combined, these are the diatomic elements, the Brinklehops. So for here, we were just right. Element. They're all the same element. Just like here, I have a mixture of elements. I have A2, AA, AA, and B2, BB, BB. So here we have a mixture of elements. And we could put it all together. We could have a mixture of elements and compounds. So we could have two shaded, one open, one shaded, two open, and then one shaded, one open. Here in this final box, the sixth box, I have A2, that's here. I have B2, which is right here, and I have two ABs. So I have a mixture of elements and compounds. Let's try some practice problems together. For practice problem number one, we have all of the same element. We have the open circle, the clear circle, element B. They're all the same. They're all just one singular element. So for one, we write down element. For problem number two, we have two or more different elements chemically combined in fixed proportion. Let's take a look. We have B and two A's. Here, we have a B and two A's. B, two A's. A, B, two A's, a B, and two A's. So they're all a 1B to 2A ratio. So for two, they're all the same compound. For problem number three, I see compounds again, but here we have a B with two A's, and here we have an A with two B's. So since there are two different types of compounds in this box, in this particle diagram, we say it is a mixture of compounds. Problem number four, we have two shaded in circles together, and we see that repeated three, four, five, six, seven different times. Now, I have two A's chemically combined. Remember, a compound is two or more different elements chemically combined in fixed proportion. Since these are two of the same elements, these are the diatomic molecules, the diatomic elements. So for problem number four, we say they're all the same element. Problem number five, I see element A here, and I see element B here, and I also see a compound with a B and two A's, and another compound with an A and a B. I have elements and compounds mixed together, so particle diagram number five is a mixture of elements and compounds.
problem number six. I see a B in the middle, surrounded by one, two, three, four A's. So you could say A for B, for B, A for. Either way, I see the same compound four times. So problem number six is all of the same compound. Problem number seven, similar to problem number four, but here we have two A's combined and two B's combined. So I have one, two, three, four A2's, and I have one, two, three, four B2's. These are elements, because they're the same element combined. They're not compounds. Compounds will be two or more different elements coming to combine. So here for problem number seven, we have a mixture of element A and B. So we say a mixture of elements. For problem eight, a little bit easier. We have a bunch of A's floating around and a bunch of B's floating around. They're mixed together, they're all elements, so once again we have a mixture of elements. And finally, problem number nine, we have element A chemically combined with element B, B combined with A, B combined with A, A combined with B, a, B, B, A, A, B, A, B, and A, B. While they look different, they're all the same compound. They're all A, B. Some are backwards, some are upside down, but remember, these molecules exist in three dimensions. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ABs. They're all the same compound. Thank you for joining Mr. Alvarez's virtual chemistry classroom. Today we learned about particle diagrams. After today's lesson, you should be able to differentiate in between elements, compounds, mixtures of elements, mixtures of compounds, and mixtures of elements and compounds by looking at the components inside of a particle diagram. Thank you again for joining us. I hope you learned something today. Please join us again soon.